Alright everyone, welcome back. So last time we defeated the uh, really huge guy in fear and um, finally managed to get further than we were before. And I don't know why I'm being so cautious. I don't I think we have much of a reason to do so. That's right, that's where I found this gun at. I'm going to go get the bullets for the other one. Aha! Oh, look. The game is making it very obvious that you should go in here, so I'm gonna look in there real quick. be the helicopter. Haha, <laughs> so this is one of those games where, like, shooting people in the leg is actually a good idea sometimes. Because it causes them to ac actually get pushed out of their, uh, cover.
I hit the wrong button again. God damn it. All right. Phew. All right. Alfred is en route to Armacham with S of F F O D D escort. Fear technical officers on standby. Team will make a rooftop entry via helicopter. Fettel remains top priority. Fear. Point man will try locating missing team. <laughs> Dead mother, what can you tell us about your recon team? We were monitoring them on the security network when we lost contact. Now the entire system is offline. Any news on the bad guys? We know they hit the main building shortly before 5 p.m. No estimate on enemy strength, but we should assume it's a sizable force. Passages? Undetermined. But no demand. Not as far as I know. Just that on final. Copy that, Seven. Do you have a visual? Roger that. This is like a... This is actually like... Give me more ammo for my shit? This easy. Wow, this had like a bunch of machine pistol ammo in it. That's apparently the weapon they want you to use, I guess. At least I still have my uh, max health to full. God, this is like gonna be like one of the more difficult missions there are, is there?
Well, you're smart. Back in the day, I actually heard about a game that was going to um, basically rely on the um, <coughs> gun to tell like the amount of ammo, no matter what you had. Like there was going to be like no HUD system or something like that. And I was like, that's a really strange idea for a game. I know that they've probably made games like that, but like. My opinion at the time was like, that's kind of a really strange thing to like put as like a sailing point for your game, like being like, oh, we're going to make a game that has a uh, freaking, um, you know, um, um, no emphasis on HUD systems, heads up display systems, you know, we want it to rely on, um, you know, like a system where every gun that you pick up has a, um, you know, um, weapon indicator or whatever. There we go. <laughs> I just don't know see I don't know how I feel about something like that. In my opinion that seems kind of um you know, silly. In a way it's kind of like a
always when I put my gun down. Ugh, my ear itches. Jesus Christ, that's the worst possible time for it. Jeez, I always use way too much ammo. hate this. <laughs> These guys are getting ridiculous. What he hit me with there, but damn, did it nearly kill me. What the hell? I'm picking up Jankowski in that general area. How the fuck did he get all the way here? You don't know who you are. I don't know who I am? out of ammo this one was all right that was a good checkpoint let me check some real fast all right we're still out of time strong suit and they seem to require that in this level Escort killed and ambushed. So we gotta get the network online. The ATC network is offline. I need you to find the server hub and reset it so I can get into the system. It should be 
should give us a better idea of what's going on in there. Someone was not very happy with that computer. Probably died due to lag, right? Just yet. The data's uploading now. There's a reference to something called Icarus. It says here that it was a bioengineering program that started in 1973. Something about health issues related to microgravity, loss of muscle mass, bone density, shit like that. Icarus, huh? Hmm. That sounds somewhat familiar. trying to get in contact with someone was having trouble contacting the building was trying to figure out why These guys move too quickly for us to 
be able to deal with normally. So we have to use our abilities for them. They don't really seem to do that much damage, though. They seem more of an annoyance than anything. You have three new messages. <coughs> First message from Chuck Haberger. Chuck Haberger. I've analyzed the readings and I'm recommended we suspend Perseus so we can figure out what's causing the synchronization. The patterns are identical to what we saw last time, but obviously the consequences would be a hell of a lot worse. Next message from Chuck Haberger. I got your message. Maybe you've forgotten that when this happened before, Fettel was only a child, and the fallout of that fuck up with that origin had to be permanently shut down. This time, we're talking about a highly trained military commander with a telepathic link to hundreds of soldiers that don't think for themselves. If you're worried about being behind schedule now, imagine what'll happen if we end up with a full-scale revolt. Next message from... Marshal Disler. Hi, it's Marshal. Just got off the phone with Chuck Hatmaker. Only worried about his findings. He said he talked to you about suspending the program temporarily. Listen to that and um, editing to see what that was all about. Most of that didn't seem to make much sense. <laughs> These guys that we keep running into, are they going to be important? Because they seem kind of annoying. Great, now I can't see shit. <laughs> Come on, I know you're in here somewhere. What's this? Cool. They tried holding themselves up in here for a second. That didn't work out too well. So 
wait here for our flashlight to fully charge. There we go. achievement that I didn't even know about. In fact, it sounds like a dick one, <laughs> to be completely honest. Check that out in a moment. There we go. <laughs> All right, it's uploading. Looks like the Icarus program got shut down in favor of something called Perseus, which from what I can tell is funded by DOD. I'm guessing that's where Fettel and his soldiers came from. Ah, okay. So the soldiers that are attacking us came from Perseus? Interesting. But we're unfortunately out of time, so... God. I guess I'm gonna do one more, and however long the next one is, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be short, cause I gotta stop in the next, uh, check, uh, checkpoint. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Till then, bye.